Hello! This clip shows how to upgrade, activate, and configure the inverter using the SolarEdge Inverter Setup application. The inverter is ready for commissioning. If the inverter you are commissioning was supplied with a USB flash drive, follow the instructions provided with it to perform upgrade and activation, and use the app for configuration. Download the SolarEdge Set app from Google Play. For download and first-time access, an internet connection is required. Tap the Set app icon and tap Start. Log in using your SolarEdge monitoring platform credentials. If you don't have a monitoring account, press Sign up here. Users can easily be added to an existing account under My Account Users tab. For an Android device, scan the inverter barcode, move the on-off P switch to P and release within 5 seconds. Setup creates a Wi-Fi connection. Tap Continue to begin the inverter firmware upgrade. For an iPhone iOS device, scan the inverter barcode, tap Copy to store the Wi-Fi password, tap Continue to open the Wi-Fi settings screen. Make sure Wi-Fi is on and choose the network name that corresponds to the inverter serial number. Turn on the Ask to Join Networks option and paste the password. Setup creates a Wi-Fi connection. Tap Continue to begin the inverter firmware upgrade. Firmware upgrade may take a few minutes. Once completed, tap Continue to activate the inverter. After the inverter is successfully activated, tap Start Commissioning. From the Inverter Commissioning menu, select Country and Language Settings and follow the instructions on the screen. Next, we pair the power optimizers to the inverter. The optimizers will not start producing power until they are paired. Pairing must be done when the modules are exposed to sunlight. From the main menu, select Pairing and tap Start Pairing. When Pairing Complete is displayed, the system startup process begins. Tap OK to return to the main menu. Next, we configure Communications. From the main menu, select Communication Settings. The default configuration is LAN. If you are not using Ethernet for connection to the monitoring platform, select the relevant wireless option. If multiple inverters are connected on an RS-485 bus, in the Master Inverter, enter the Communication Settings menu and select RS-485-1. Then select Protocol, Solar Edge Master and select Slave Detect. The Master Inverter detects the other inverters on the bus and displays all detected serial numbers. Up to 31 inverters can be connected to an RS-485 master inverter. Inverters that share an RS-485 bus can be configured simultaneously from the master inverter. Enter the site configuration menu for applying master inverter settings to other inverters on the same RS-485 bus. Tap Apply. All inverters on the bus are configured simultaneously. When the site configuration is complete, type OK. Verify that the connection to the monitoring platform was established successfully. Select Status and verify that SOK Server Connected appears. The Site Status screen shows the status parameters of all slave inverters on the same RS-485 bus. The Master Inverter parameters are displayed first and then the Slave Inverter parameters. Three LEDs at the bottom of the inverter provide system performance indications. Now the site is configured and producing power.